All right, um, here we are today. Um, in this video, we're going to be going over round two of uh, my PTQ finals tournament where I came in ninth place. Uh, we had just lost round one to Marty Vehicles. Did not play very well against them. Um, but uh, we, we get to have some redemption here in round two against Blue Red Control. Um, I have been playing blue control decks since I was in high school and am very comfortable with the blue control mirror so I was very happy to play it three times in a row in this tournament. Um, okay so we were on the draw which is completely fine for the blue red mirror although we don't know it at the time. This hand is great, we have all three colors, we have something proactive to do, we have an end game. Yeah, I played the thing into his possible sensor. Um, like, if he kills the thing, oh, he he must have just drawn that. Yeah, if he kills the thing, then uh, that's fine. Yeah, I'm way up on cards on him here because he had to two for one the thing. Like, granted, Magma Spray isn't really a card in the control mirror, but knowing that he has less cards in his hand is uh. Is helpful. Yeah, so he cycles here and yeah. So I'm choosing to do this on his upkeep because if he taps out to counter it, then I get to just resolve a torrential gear hulk. Or I have a, a higher chance of resolving a torrential gear hulk. He ends up missing a land, so I get to go for the gear hulk here. Um, with very little downside and then we yeah so we're ahead on board we're now ahead on cards as well we're ahead on lands um, he's just super far behind he he does get this window to glimmer though so he's climbing back in but we're still ahead on board we're still ahead on lands okay so we bottomed I think we kept thing and we bottom the land. Yeah, kept thing, bottom the land. And we still get to hold up this allow. Yeah, right now the name of the game is just make sure he doesn't resolve a gear hook. Um Yeah, choose not to play thing there because I only have three blue sources at the moment. Um and I wanna just make sure that he doesn't resolve a gear hulk or anything here. Let that die because I have a thing on the ice in my hand. Um, I don't like, I, I really don't like countering removal spells in the control mirror unless, unless you absolutely have to. Um, yeah, so I was, I was fine letting that die. We get our threat in play. He goes for a glimmer. We get to disallow it. He goes for a gear hulk here, and then we get to essence scatter it. Essence scatter is so good. I'm so glad they printed that card. <laughs> yeah, him being at ten, and we have a man land. Um. Oh, I punted here. I have. Uh, yeah, I I don't get punished for it, but I needed to cast harness lightning for zero, flip the thing, and then activate lumbering falls. Um. But instead I activated Lumbering Falls first and then realized if I cast Harness Lightning it would return Lumbering Falls. So I have to just attack for three here. But I do have a lethal thing in the ice. Yeah, he, he can't do very much here. Yeah, so we get to Traverse, flip our thing, go get a Torrential Gear Hulk. Yeah. The Control Mirror is where Traverse is just really great. It allows us to play effectively more lands than our opponent. Um, and it's it's just so good in the late game. Like you're always the control mirror never ends before you get a gear hulk in the graveyard. So yeah, traverse is great here. Um, so we won game one. Let's go to game two. Uh, let's look at how I sideboarded. All right, so I took out 
I took out one sensor, I took out both towers, um, and I took out both magma sprays. And I brought in the two negates, I brought in the three trackers. Is that one, two, three, four, five? Two negates, three trackers. Yeah, that's all I sideboarded. He mulligans to six. He chose to play in the control mirror, which I'm not sure about. Um, this hand is sweet. It was a, it's effectively a four land hand, um, but we just have a ton of flexibility. Okay, so he resolves an early thing in the ice, which is completely fine. We go get our red sores. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't have to use our traverse to get a land anymore. We get to just hold it to have better late game. Yeah, go for the harness lightning here. If he wants to counter it, then that just gives us a window to glimmer. And we end up where Having the Gear Hulk to eventually kill the thing, even if it flips, leaves me fine with um, opening up our Harness Lightning to get Encounterspelled, because now we're just getting ahead on cards. Like, we're way ahead on cards. He mulliganed, and, uh, you know, he has a threat in play that's not doing anything. Uh, and we're resolving this Glimmer here. He essence scatters this, and then uh, so instead of playing thing in the ice or leaving up essence scatter, I wanted to attune so that I can for sure cast Gear Hulk next turn. Um, like this harness lightning sitting in my graveyard, I want to be able to use it. Although he drew his sixth land, so. Um, now we have to play around his Gear Hulk. We drew an answer to Thing in the Ice, so we don't need to rely on Gear Hulk anymore to answer it. Having drawn that, I play the Thing out because I have two different 4 mana things that I can do. Uh, I think he goes for a Gear Hulk. No, he goes for a Glimmer here, I think. Oh, he commits. He commits my Thing. I commit him back. I, I'm doing this... Mm, yeah. So I commit his thing in the ice when he commits my thing in the ice. Which is a much better deal for me, because his was out. This was at two counters, I think. And now he's at one card in his hand. So he casts memory, and we... Yeah, that memory was actually really good for him. Because our, our hand there was stacked. We had resolved the Glimmer and he didn't. Um, memory is, is very good in the control mirror. But, like, we... I think we still ended up with an advantage because we didn't have to tap out. So, traversing here to get a land. Just want to keep hitting land drops. Yeah, doing this for six, it seems really greedy. I don't know if he saw Sensor in game one. I don't think he did. Yeah. No need to Essence scatter that when we have Harness Lightning. And casting a Glimmer here to flip our thing and go on the offense. Bottom both of these lands, get some gas. Yeah, 
Yeah, it might have been wrong to bottom both of those lands, because I think one of them was an Aether Hub, and that would have let me hold up Disallow and Essence Scatter. Um, but like his Gear Hulks aren't that scary at the moment because he just doesn't have any action in his graveyard. So yeah, I felt okay about that. Although it was probably the wrong play. Okay. So he must ha just have nothing in his hand because he goes for this super, super risky line of play. Um, and we just blow him out, and I think he concedes after this. Yeah, you only need a Harness Lightning for one when the trigger is on the stack because it switches. Alright, and there we go. Yeah, that pull from the Morrow play was real loose on his part. Um, Letting that memory resolve might have been wrong from my end. Like, I definitely got... I lost a lot of my advantage because of that memory. But I think getting his thing in the ice off the board um, was more important. Could have been wrong. Always good to reflect on your plays. Even even when you win, right? You you usually make misplays, so it's, it's always good to think about. Um... Yeah, I was not playing perfectly here for sure. All right, thanks for watching. This was round two. We're going to go on to round three next, uh, where I play another blue-red control deck. Uh, thanks for watching.